Hi, in this video we're going to ask, what is a limit? You can't be in a calculus class very long before you begin to talk about things called limits. And so this video relates to James Stewart's calculus textbook, section 2, chapter 2, uh, which uh, is a long section, but it has to do with limits. So this is an example from that textbook. Consider this equation. So f of x, or y, whatever you want to say, equals x squared minus x uh, plus 2. What happens to the, to the solution of this equation, the value of this equation, as x approaches 2? So as x approaches 2, what happens to this equation? Now, I mean, you could just plug a 2 in, and you have 2 squared is 4, minus 2, that's 2, plus 2 equals 4. So the, you know, actually this one's very simple. Um, if you plug in a 2 for x, it ends up as 4. You might say, well, what's the big deal? Well, I want you to think that. Uh, it's really not that complicated for most equations, I think. Um, but you can see here we, we've done some pl plugging in. Uh, this graph is taken you know, from Stewart's textbook. You can see that we can approach uh, 2 from the left uh, toward 2, or we can approach uh, 2 from the right towards 2. We call those uh, left-hand and, and right-hand limits. Uh, in the next video, I'll talk more about that. But what you can see is it's exactly what we what we saw by plugging in the two, uh, that as we approach two from the left, it gets closer and closer to four, and as we approach two from the right, it gets closer and closer to four. So we say that the limit as x approaches two is four. Now again, this this is a pretty boring example because just plugging in the two comes up with four. Of course, what you'll see is that it's often much more complicated than that. But this gives us a basis for, for introducing limit language. And here we are, limit language. So this, no, this is the way we kind of write. This is the way we write it out. So LIM stands for limit. We read this to say x approaches a, where a is just some number. 0, x approaches 0, 5. Um, could be infinity, although infinity technically is not a number. x approaches infinity f of x is the equation that we're doing it to, like the one in the previous uh, slide. And then capital L stands for limit. That's where it goes. Um, so the previous, we could have written the previous page as the lim, lim as x approaches 2 of x squared minus x, what was it, plus 2, equals 4. That's the way we would have, would have written it. So the way you read this general symbolism is the limit of f of x as x approaches a equals l. Now you, you know little calculus language. So all it's saying again, hopefully this is blooming ob obvious, as we make x closer and closer to a, the equation, whatever it is, f, y, f of x, is going to get closer and closer to some value, let's call it l. Of course, l could be infinity uh, in some case. OK, so um, sometimes you have to play with it. So the, the previous example is just really easy. So let's talk about uh, a slightly more difficult example. Now, how do we read this? We read this as the limit as x approaches 1 of x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 1. Now, now let's try what we tried earlier and see what happens. So let's just plug the 1 in. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 squared is 1 minus 1 is 0. OK, in this case, when you plug the 1 in, you get a 0 over 0. And that's undefined, right? You can't divide by 0 in this universe, apparently. God can, but we can't. So, you know, you might be tempted to say that the limit doesn't exist, or that the limit is undefined, or something like that, but that's actually wrong. Uh, we can play with this. In particular, x squared minus 1 can be factored apart, right? Uh, x squared minus 1 can be factored into x plus 1 times x minus 1. And when we play with it like that, x minus 1 over x minus 1, something over something is 1, right? And so it ends up being the limit as x approaches 1 of 1 over uh, x plus 1. Now let's plug in the 1 and see what happens. When I plug in the 1 this time, I end up with 1 half. And so you see that's unexpected. The limit as x approaches 1 of this uh, formula, of this function, is 1 half. Uh, so, uh, there you have it. I've introduced you to the concept of what a limit is. There is much more to come.